29-year-old Edith Alvarez and three of her children died in a matter of minutes trapped inside a submerged car. Her mother and sister are inconsolable today, and they don't understand why a 14-year-old without driving experience was allowed behind the wheel. <laughs> she made a valiant effort to talk about her 29-year-old daughter Edith Alvarez and her three grandchildren, but the pain quickly took over this grief-stricken mother and grandmother. <laughs> Edith Alvarez, 10-year-old Jesse Alvarez, 7-year-old Emily Espino, and 4-year-old Joe Alvarez, along with a family friend, 56-year-old Juan Pablo Morales, fell into a watery grave Thursday. Wherever they are, I just want them to know that I love them very much. According to authorities, the Mercury SUV they were all in fell into the Brownsville Ship Channel and was sucked down 20 feet underwater. Jessica Alvarez, Edith's sister, says her niece and only survivor in the accident, 14-year-old Debbie Alvarez, was behind the wheel. She was going to park, but instead of pressing the brake, she stepped on the gas pedal. I'm not sure what they were thinking. She doesn't know how to drive. It was her first time behind the wheel. Jessica says her sister, nieces, and nephews went out to the shrimp basin where Morales was a captain on a boat so that he could show it off before leaving for the start of shrimping season Monday. Debbie wanted to learn how to drive during the outing and from her hospital bed tells the family she insisted her mother let her behind the wheel. She tells us her mom didn't want her to drive. She was even telling her friend that she didn't want her behind the wheel because she's too young. But they finally convinced her, and then this happened. Friends visited the Alvarez's home today to offer support, but Edith's mother says right now she doesn't understand why she lost four of her loved ones all at once and doesn't know how she'll gather the strength to go on. Bien linda gente. My daughter was such a nice person. She was always happy and loved to go to Zumba classes. And my grandchildren, well, what can I say? Now, obviously, the family was not prepared for this, and they are in desperate need for help with funeral expenses. We'll have that information on valleycentral.com. For now, live in the studio, Daisy Barrera, Action for News.